what is up guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we did this really cute daisy look i think this is so cute and i love it honestly i think that i love green i really wanted to do a green look because i just felt like it was just a good time because you know spring is coming up it's been really warm outside which i love because i live in ohio rough sometimes not gonna lie the weather is awful sometimes i thought i'd start out the um spring with this really cute look and i love it and i love everything about it and yeah if you guys like to achieve this look then just keep on watching so the first thing i'm doing is pulling out my hula hula my hula bronzer and i'm obviously just going to be doing my bronzer what a shock <laughs> it has been since my chanel look that i have put on like makeup makeup like not just mascara <gasps> oh i'm so excited i'm so excited you better know why I'm excited. Boo -doo, boo -doo, boo. That is why I was excited. Okay, so now we're gonna get on to eyes, which I know I wanna do green because I like green. I just, I really like the color green right now. Pull out the Maddie Ziegler Imagination palette. I think I'm gonna go into the color mint and just put that on my eyelid, on my crease, on my eye, you know, full on. Is it saying that? Okay, sorry. I uh, managed to use up all of the storage in my in my memory card, which has 128 gigabytes. So I don't know how I did that, but I did. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like a little tinier, fluffier brush, and I'm just gonna be focusing more on my eyelid instead of my crease, making sure all the color kind of gets in there. And I'm gonna be again going delicately, just because I don't want it to be too green. I want it to be kind of faint. And now using that same brush, I'm going to be going into the color Angel, and I'm just going to be putting this on top of all of the my whole eyelid, just to kind of give the look a little bit of a sparkle and to dark lighten it up. Not darken, lighten it up a little bit. And then I'm actually going to be taking that Angel color and putting it on my brow bone. Okay, so I'm thinking about what a shock doing like a double cut crease outline and then I think I'm gonna do like some daisies just kind of around my eye because I saw someone do it on Pinterest just like they had like just like a regular eye and then it had some daisies around it and I was like, oh, that's really cute. I like that but I want to add like a double cut crease line and then maybe put a daisy right here taking out. I'm actually gonna zoom in because zoom 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 zoom. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> Oh my god, that was that was so cringy, ew. Well anyway, thank you for still being here. If you are, if you aren't, I don't blame you. Taking <laughs> out my next Vivid Bright liquid liner in the color Vivid Empty, and I am just gonna be drawing a line of the double cut crease. If you guys have never done this before, basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be making like a spoon shape. So you're gonna be going here and then curving and bringing it outward and then just matching bringing a line out here to match it so that they meet. If you're confused, just watch me do it. And if you'd like to practice with some concealer first, I definitely suggest doing that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking out my NYX Professionals White Liquid Liner. And I'm honestly, like, the, this is just all up to you. I'm gonna be doing some flowers right here, right here, right here, out here. I'm probably gonna do some under my eye, but I'll do that with you guys later when we do our under eyes. So yeah, this is just kind of your time to get creative. How I'm gonna do the daisies is I'm literally just gonna draw almost like a snowflake, just draw a line, a line, a line, a line, and then we'll be putting a yellow dot in the middle. Mm, I do, except it's, yeah, okay. I lied, I lied guys, I lied. I grabbed out the wrong white liner. I'm pretty sure this is the kind that I use now. It's waterproof, yeah. So this is the NYX Professionals Epic Wear Waterproof Water Liner. Doesn't matter which one you use, I'm gonna be using this one because I have more of this one. That other one is empty, I don't know why it's still. And because I use this one, the wand is a little bit thicker, so I'm actually gonna be pulling out my nail brushes. I have not used these on my nails. I actually got these specifically for makeup because I actually find them a lot easier to do makeup with. Come on, camera. You can do it. There you go, girl. It's got this really nice, thin, tiny tip. And yeah, I'm just gonna do the daisy. And I'm just gonna do that in other places. I will say if you are gonna be doing some on your eyelid where your eye creases like I am, you're gonna wanna wait for it to really dry there because if not, it could get messed up by the crease. And of course, I'm gonna be putting one right here at the tip of the cut crease because I feel like that'll be so cute. 
that I have this time. We're going to get into the second part of this eye look and that is the yellow dots in the middle of the flower to make it a daisy and this is why again I love this nail brush because it comes with this fun little dotting tool on the opposite side and I'm just going to be pulling out my NYX Vivid Bright liquid liner and the color Vivid Halo and just obviously using that dotting tool to put the dots in the center of the daisy. Is that going to focus on me? Boy. Okay, that was spooky. Okay, I think it is so freaking cute. I love it. So now I'm gonna add the leaves to the double cut crease we just did. I'm just gonna kind of put them really anywhere I feel like. Like kind of almost make a triangle is what I like to do. Oh, I think it is so cute. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna add some dots um, of white around. Now I'm just pulling out my um, NYX Professionals Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk and putting this on my waterline. And then now what I'm doing is I'm just going to be going back into the color Mint and putting that on the outer corner of my under eye. And then I'm just going to be going into the color Angel and putting that the rest of the way. And now I'm going to be going into my e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow in the color 24K Bolt. 24k gold and putting that on the inner corner of my eye Okay, low-key now that I see this I kind of want to put this in the middle of the daisies I think that'd be so cute though. Okay, I'm gonna finish the one daisy and then we'll do it Okay, so now I'm gonna just go back into my white and I'm just gonna draw a daisy right here because I feel like that will be so cute And I'm very excited And then I'm gonna actually add a little leaf yeah, I think I want to add the gold back in with my nail brush and just go into this and put it in on top of the yellow liquid liner. I'm going to finish the other eye off camera and then we'll come back with everything else. I'm so excited. So I finished the other eye and I decided to just do the daisy on the one side because I just feel like that's way cuter. Makes it a little different, you know. I don't want to do too much. So now we're going to get into blush and highlighter and everything. For a blush, I'm going to be pulling out my Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Puff and I'm just going to be putting a little bit of this on. I literally love this stuff. I actually need to get more of this, although I've had this stuff since like the summertime. And I don't really wear makeup that often, so I guess I really can't say. But all I am gonna say is it has lasted me like a while because you do not have to use a lot of it, which I really like. A little goes a long way, it really does. This is I'm gonna be pulling out the Fenty Beauty Freestyle Highlighter Duo, and I'm using the color Hustla Baby, and I am really excited. I just really don't like golds as much as silvers. Okay, and now it is time for mascara and I'm pulling out my Glossier Lash Slick Mascara just because I feel like, I don't know, because of the flowers, I kind of want to do like a more of a natural vibe. So I feel like I love this mascara for a natural vibe because it's just really nice and it's not too much. So I'm pulling out my Too Faced Melted Matte Liquified Lipstick in the color Queen Bee and I'm just going to try this out. I feel like this would look cute though. Now, just to make this look a little bit more dewy because of all the flowers and stuff, I am just going into my Morphe Maddie Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Butterfly Kiss. And just to finish it all off, I'm pulling out my Anastasia Dewy Setting Spray. Okay, beauty babes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any beauty quests or view quests or anything like that. I'll try my heart to do them. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, I'll be located all right over here. And it'll also be linked down below along with my last video and the subscribe button, which you should definitely consider clicking because I post really fun content about makeup videos and sometimes I do vlogs and yeah, I just, you know, whatever. So if you like my content and you want to subscribe to me, I would totally not mind. You should definitely subscribe. <laughs> I always do that. Anyway, I think that is all I have to say. So bye bye, baby babes. Love you.